WinCNC is an ideal controller for CNC router, plasma, and laser applications and can be set up easily to work with the DMM servo system. To build this control, the WinCNC hardware needed includes the main PCIe card, 37-pin daughter card, and a CN2 I.O. board. Select the servo drive and servo motor appropriately for the machine. Make sure to set the servo drives in pulse direction command input mode and position servo mode to match the interface used by WinCNC. We're using WinCNC version 3.0 on a PC running Windows 10. Make sure the PC has a PCIe slot to accept the PCIe card hardware. Before starting, make sure to review the WinCNC manual in detail. To set up the controller hardware, first assemble the PCIe card with the daughter board. Then install the assembled boards into the PCIe slot. Make sure to securely fasten using screws into the expansion slots. Then connect the DB37 cable from the blue connector on the daughter board into the CN2 I.O. board. Wire the DYN2 or DYN4 servo drives into the CN2 I.O. board as follows. When using the DYN2 servo drive, the drive's I.O. logic is 5 volts, so insert the input jumpers on the CN2 I.O. board at 2-3 position to match the 5 volt level. To set up the WinCNC software, first install the main program from the CD or electronic download. Then install the PCIe card driver from the driver installer program and restart the PC. Refer to the WinCNC manual for procedures to verify that both the CNC program and PCIe card have been installed correctly. We'll go over a few common interface settings between WinCNC and the servo drives. The first is the electronic gear ratio which controls the number of pulses needed to move the motor a certain distance. In the DYN servo drives, the gear num parameter multiplied by 4 is the number of pulses required to rotate the motor one full revolution. Note that this is the control resolution from WinCNC to the servo drive. Between the servo drive and motor, the motion is always at full encoder resolution. The number of pulses is the distance traveled. The frequency of pulses is the equivalent to the speed. We recommend setting WinCNC at 75 kHz pulse frequency and 5 microsecond pulse length. Refer to the WinCNC manual for configuration file definitions. The servo enable output controls when the servo drive should be active and in control of the motor position. The DYN servo drive enable inputs are active high. Set the following in the WinCNC configuration file to disable the drives whenever the program is closed. The alarm output in the DYN servo drive is active low. Set the following in a configuration file to stop the program from operating whenever the drive is alarmed. With these essential settings completed, the drives are ready to run with the WinCNC controller.